Good evening, dear parents. And I wanted to record this short video to show two methods that yours, uh, that our students can use the Arduino kits that we recommended uh, for them to purchase. Uh, many of the older students especially know most of these things. So I'm primarily recording this for the younger students that might need help uh, from their parents. I would say probably the majority of our younger students, it would be completely okay to start with only uh, very basic exercises. So uh, the kit came with the disc. And even if you are unable to read the disc because you don't have a reader, the exact same uh, package is also available online. If you just go to the website that's written on the disc, it's the complete uh, kit tutorial. And in the tutorial comes with the PDF and codes that uh, support this PDF. I have a Example lesson open here. Most of the lesson is about the theory behind how this component works. So students can skip it at the beginner levels. And what I would recommend them do is go directly to the wiring diagram. For example, for lesson four, the wiring diagram is on page 56. Properly build this diagram. And after it, the tutorial shows you how to open the code and upload it to the board. So let me uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, if I come here, it's already open. Let me close it and open it again to show how to do it. So it would be open. I would go to the correct location, then code, then lesson four, and open the file. After this, uh, in order for it to upload, you need to select the proper board. I'm using Arduino Uno. The students are using Arduino Mega 2560. So in different operating systems, Linux, Windows, Mac, you either select it from here or tools, board. And in their case, it will be Arduino Mega 2560. It's written on the board and uh, the port number, the available port number that has the name in front of it. And then uh, the code uh, is correct because it came with the tutorial, but I still verify to make sure it's correct. And then I upload. You might get some errors here because of different reasons, but as you can see, I successfully uploaded the code. And after it, uh, the lesson four blinks the LEDs different color if they are connect the RGB uh, LED to the board. The color will change between red, green, and blue. And this would be how they would complete this lesson. There are many other lessons. Uh, I think there are around thirty lessons in this tutorial and some of them would require to also add uh, extra pieces of code so there is one more step you might need to do for the others for example uh, if the uh, lesson asks you to add include a library or to the top of the code it's a something like include library this is how you do it sketch include library add dot zip library you go to the location of the library that the a lesson specifies, for example, and it is in the tutorial, the code and libraries. I will come to the library and add one of those libraries, for example, stepper.zip, open, and you would, should have library installed, library successfully installed. After this, you should be able to run, if you, after you install all the libraries, you should be able to run all 30 classes. Many of the classes do not require libraries. So this would be the end of part one. And the part two, I want to show how to how the younger students uh, might use the board, uh, the connection guide. In order to do that, I will send you this file. It's called uh, in most of the operating systems. If you just come file examples, Fermata and standard Fermata, it is available. I will also attach it to the email. So Fermata and standard Fermata. This is the standard Fermata uh, code. And after I verify done compiling and upload it to my board, I successfully uploaded it to my board. And then in the from the website of the link that's with the email, if you download Snap for Arduino and install it on whichever operating system you're using. If you have done the library uh, correctly, you should come here and click connect Arduino and one of the available options. Uh, I'm guessing it's the option one. 
uh, most of the cases, it should be only one option. And then it says Arduino board has been connected, happy prototyping. And then OK. And uh, by the way, these commands are under Arduino submenu. So Arduino, connect Arduino. After you do this, you can build a simple code. For example, when space, when space key is pressed, uh, set digital pin 10 on, wait one second, and set digital pin 10 off. Uh, if you do this and connect an LED light to the digital pin 10, uh, then now every time you press the space, the uh, pin will turn on, where stay on for a second and then go off. Uh, we have done exercises like this in the class, so I hope uh, students will remember those. There are many resources available online so they can search, and we will try to add more and more uh, classes of uh, the electronics components. So every week when they come home, they're, they're, they're uh, more memory is fresh and they can uh, work on this project sufficiently. Here, I will wrap up this video. And if you have any questions, uh, feel uh, free to answer them when you drop off your students uh, this weekend. Thank you.